Hi guys, my name is Kiera, but here on the internet, I go by Hobo Kiki. And today, we'll actually be planning in my Hobonichi cousin. I know, I know. A little bit late, but that's all right. Let's just go ahead and jump right on to the section that we'll be planning in. So we'll be planning April 1st through the 7th, and we'll be using these stickers from DEK Design. It is from their April Showers Kit. I have two of the uh, large deco, and then I have some boxes here, and then I have two of the smaller deco, as you can see. Then we have some sidebar stickers and some more boxes, and then we have like little labels and things, and little knickknacks. And I was thinking that I might bring in, whoa, what was that? I was thinking I might bring in uh, this plan and stick foil sticker just for the uh, weekly section here. I'm also thinking about bringing in this washi from the washi tape shop, uh, as well as this washi from Simply Gilded. So let's just go ahead, jump right into things. Hope you guys are doing well. I already know for a fact that I want to cover up this sidebar. I know I did it last week with like that, but I can't help it. And I use a purple kit as well last week. I usually try to stay straight away from using uh, like the same colors and like the same kind of layouts. But when something looks good, it looks good. And there's no way to fight that just kind of give into it. I know I want this uh, sticker with the rain boots. Look how pretty they are. All right. Is it going to go all the way up? No, it's not. So what we'll do is put it all the way at the bottom here. Line it up real nice like. It does show like the week that we're in. I might keep it or I might try to edit it out. Let's see, like what if I used these duggies here? That's kind of cute too. Mm, I don't know, decisions, decisions. <laughs> I think I kind of want them here though. I'm going to just go ahead and lay them there because they look cute right there. Look at them, happy little ducky family. And now everything else, not so sure about. <laughs> so, we know this is April Fool's Day. Should I mark that? Why not? A lot of people were playing jokes and stuff anyways. And then, I had therapy. Let's use purple. We'll use this one. Therapy at six. I was just getting ready to say something completely goofy. Like, wow, these stickers fit so perfectly. <laughs> but they're for the whole Benici, so of course they fit perfectly. Let's go ahead and get this appointment here. We'll just go ahead and use that label box. Looks good, looks great. Should we? I'm wondering if I should use the washi in the kit. How thick is it? Because I'm thinking I can cover this up. Oh yeah, I might just go ahead and do that. Does it go over the whole page? Yeah. I'll date it. Don't worry, it fits in there perfectly, so I don't think I can resist not doing it. And I don't think I've done this ever, so, I mean, of course I use date covers, but rarely do I ever put like one strip across the page and just call it a day. I need to clean my scissors off. We'll do that another day. <laughs> We'll save that for another time. Let's go ahead and add the next 
little bit of washi down. Perfect. Oh, this is going to be cute. I see the vision already. Do you see the vision? Hopefully. Hopefully you do. What do I have planned? I kind of like putting my plans for the week down first. But I think I will just go ahead with some washi here. I kind of like rip this. I like it to look like mangled. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do like that look. There we go. Get that washi in there. And then I like to do it like cat corner. So have something there, then go ahead and do the same thing here. Probably not that much. Go ahead and chop them. A straight line or as straight as possible you know <laughs> did you guys do any pranks for um april fool's day or y'all too grown for that <laughs> y'all know me i'm childish i'm childish but that's okay my kids and i played uh some pranks although my kids they're just so hilariously bad at pranks or like <laughs> Any kind of joke is so pitiful <laughs> and hilarious at the same time. So it was fun seeing how they tried to prank me as well as each other and just knowing like how terrible of a job it was. <laughs> so it's like, oh, you guys are cute. Let's go ahead and get this down. I think I kind of want to mangle this. I'm sorry, I know this is going to break somebody's heart, but I want it mangled. You're like, but the bows, Kia, the bows. There will be other bows. There will be other bows. Okay, let's get this in here. There we go. And we'll get this one up here. Why am I concentrated so hard? I don't know. Come here. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I, I'm i trying to figure out like one of the jokes that they did. See if I can like tell y'all so y'all can get a picture of how hilariously terrible they are at being bad guys. <laughs> Not that make uh, you pranking someone makes you a bad guy, of course, but it's just funny. You know, those school board exams. I don't know why, but I guess I was a little nerd, but I used to like those things. <laughs> I did. I used to love the test, the standardized test. There we go. I love the standard, standardized test. I know I'm a little bit of a goofball, so it may be hard to like realize that. But yeah, I did. I thought they were a great way to like get out of school, <laughs> like of like real classwork. And then the teachers would always say, oh, you know, it's not a measurement of yourself. It's like a measurement of how we did teaching you these years of school or some, some crap like that. <laughs> but I, I don't know. I always kind of liked them. I'm trying to bring in some rainbow stickers now. Let me get this down. And then I think I am going to do, are there any clouds? It's a shame that there's no clouds. Hmm, okay. But I do want to do like these raindrops. So I think I will put those in sporadically. But first we'll take this and this border here. We'll mark like our weekend. Okay, boom. You know, we have to spread what little foil we have around. So we'll add that there. I love like this periwinkle foil. It's gorgeous. Can you guys even see? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I think I am going to add this person, even though it's slightly creepy, because if you take a look at it, let me see if it'll get it. So it's just like a walking coat and pants. There isn't really a person in there. 
for some reason that like kind of freaks me out just a little bit <laughs> we're gonna say the clothes are just extra baggy that's it the clothes are just extra baggy and i'm tripping <laughs> we'll do it right here I have a few things that I need to do for work this week, so I'll make sure I jot those down. And I think it would be okay to mark the weekend. I think I will take this cloud here because it actually has been raining a lot. So I will mark that it's raining, but it is actually supposed to dry up by the end of the week. So I'll have it slowly allowing the sun come up, just like that. That's essentially what's supposed to happen. That's what they said, girl. Now, will it actually work like that? I don't know. We gonna find out together. <laughs> Let us mark my work schedule here. Perfect. And there's really no rhyme or reason where I put the line at, line at each week. Some days I put it more so in the middle when I don't feel like writing anything because there's not really much to do for me uh, for work. And some days I put it closer to the left side of that of this row so it would be closer to like right here uh just to make sure that i have some writing room if i know i'm going to be very busy that week hopefully that makes sense to you i want to take this other box here and just use that here flowers or rainbow let's do a rainbow since we already did flowers right there even though, can you really have too many flowers? No, you can't. There we go. All right. I do kind of want to use all of these like rainbow droplets here. Rainbow droplets. I don't know, that's the best way to explain it. <laughs> Rain droplets. I think that's the best way to explain it. And we're just going to sporadically place them throughout the spread here. Put one right there. This page has a lot of blue, so I'm going to try to put this over here. Maybe I'll just put this one right like under that cloud. There we go. I want this fat ducky, so you're coming with me. Isn't he so cute? I know, like, proportion-wise, these two aren't going together, but I don't really care. And I'm sorry that that was, like, blurry. I didn't even realize that. I have to start looking at what I'm doing. I apologize. I am going to pull one more flower. Let's get this one. We'll put that right here. We'll use this here. To add like some dimension perfect and then we have these flowers here so let's add these kind of want to use up all of these should I put it more so up here yeah that's pretty that's pretty okay and we kind of have like some box overlays let's use these And this one. We have another one. Let's just use these. Bam. Over by my appointment like so. Bam. I forgot where I was going to put that one at first. <laughs> And then we still have this bigger bow. 
So I'm going to put it like it's a little bow tie. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Hopefully you can see like the purple. Uh, let's put something here to bring down. Actually, let's use these here. If it'll let me. We're just going to put this across all of our little washi here. Or I might do on a weekend. We got a box for that. And then let's put in a to-do list as well. We'll do it. I kind of want to mark my payday. So let me not forget about that. We'll just use that flag to mark the payday. I should have two paydays if I remember correctly. So we'll mark that there. And then Sunday, I don't really have anything planned, but I do want to use this checklist. So let's use these boxes here, make ourselves a nice little to-do. Um, starting about right here. Oh, it fits so perfectly. I Y'all, I have received this so long ago. I couldn't even tell you if Plan and Stick is still a like live shop. Do not know. But these stickers were in my sticker collection, so they just need to be used. That's cute. I can dig it. Okay. And we'll use this as a little to-do. Perfect. And anything else here? Oh, I did not make room for my exercises. Let me go ahead and do that. So I'll use the hearts for my exercises. Since I covered this and I usually do two exercises a day, I'll put four here. Can I like line it up? Kinda. And then two here, two here, and two here. There we go. And yeah, I think that's all I'm going to use for this. I don't want it to get too crazy. Let's go ahead and add like a header here. That's just to mark exercise. So completely unnecessary because I already know what the hearts are for, but it makes me happy to see it. So hey, why not? And I know I haven't done a sleep tracker, mood tracker in a while. I'm wondering if I should go ahead and do that since I took over this whole space. I should put that here. I think I actually will, you guys. I know it might be weird for some people to have it on this side, um, but I really don't have lots of plans this week. So we are going to put it here. So it's going to go. And like I said, I have this box here. So if something pops up that I need to mark, uh, that, that'll be for that. So let's do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then we'll do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then there you go. That's pretty much all I need. And I do still have space to mark something here, as well as space to mark something there. So that is how my weekly section is looking. I am not mad at it at all. Typically, I do not mix foils like this. This is the weekly section. I definitely want to get some of these stickers out the way, but maybe I'll save that for a two-page spread. So let's do... Let's do one of these, I'm thinking. But I have to make sure I get it aligned how I want it aligned. Let's do it like right here. There we go. Look at my cute little duckies. Oh, they're so cute. We'll put down some washi.
and we'll put down this washi too. I just like layering. No really rhyme or reason. And then we'll do something that says like, hello. April. And then for this, we'll just do cursive right here. Right. So that's the font that I'm going to use for all of the spreads. Let's do, let's do a bow here. Boom. And that's like my first page. I'll also write the uh, journaling prompts that I plan on using for that month. And oh, I almost forgot. I do want to go back to marking what I ate for the day. So let me go ahead and put something there for that. And that will be my box that tells me what I ate for the day. I know I have been a tweaking, totally forgot. Well, not forgot, kind of been avoiding, I'll say, uh, making sure I mark what I'm eating because I know I've been doing terrible. So I've kind of like been hiding from that, but I don't want to keep doing that. So boom, there we go. And we'll just go ahead and speed run this really quickly. Decorate all the pages for this week, of course, because if you're new here, hi, how are you? I do like to match my uh, daily section with my weekly section, just because it helps me actually realize where I am in the month. All right, next spread. Let's get this washi down. The question is, this is so pretty right here. Oh, it just looks like it's glowing, doesn't it? Kind of just wanna do it on the side like that. Is that weird? And I laid that down so crookedly, but you know, it's okay. Life keeps trucking. For this section, I think what I'm going to do here is use this top section for my uh, my food diary up there. Y'all, I've been eating like, I don't know, like a grown man, I guess. I guess that's the best way to put it. Your girl just been eating, but that's because there's like so many, let me not make excuses, but I know I've allowed myself to eat more because there's uh, so many different like celebrations in the month of March for me. But still, that's not a good, that's not a good thing. And I don't want to get into that habit. So it's time to start marking it down again. Uh, I'll just put Tuesday and Wednesday right here. Or I might put Tuesday and Wednesday right here. It just depends on how I feel. Let's grab. I feel like I rarely grabbed from like this sheet. And this sheet has like the cute frog. Let's put the frog up here. He looks wise for some reason. Don't ask me why. <laughs> he just looks wise. We'll do the boats right here. There we go. And let's see, we'll do, I kind of want to do a rainbow, but it's like really cute. How many rainbows are you gonna do? As many as I freaking want. <laughs> I love the rainbows. Ah, get back up here. Don't you do it. Okay. I thought I was getting ready to have a stern talking to with this umbrella. And I do love my chubby boy, so I'm thinking about putting him down again. Is that too many chubby boys? Is there such thing as too many chubby boys? <laughs> Let's do uh, the girl with her back towards us. There we go. Let's go ahead and flip to Thursday and Friday. Thursday and Friday, I'm thinking I want florals. I'm also thinking I kind of want to do the box thing. So let's do the box thing.
This is my double liner thing. If you're an OG subscriber, you ain't new to this, you're true to this. You've seen this a million and one times. And if you're not an OG subscriber, I am not claiming to be the inventor of this. I just use this very often. I just really like how this technique looks when everything is all said and done. And I like how easy it is. Like I'm not thinking hard about this at all. Because you kind of want it to be like a messy look. Maybe not that messy, but you do want it to have like very organic shape. That is what makes it look nice in a weird way. Let's take, we're gonna take these here, these very watercolor looking ones, and just put this on the edge of each of these. I think I will do like the duckies. This will be like a whole ducky page. Like skip it, I just want a ducky page. No one's going to stop me. little or I guess we can call it a birdie page there's this little duck here and then we can do the tiny ducks over here I know they're just a small version of that but they're like the tiny version so I feel like it'll work we can take these like lovebirds put them on this side and then we just have a cute little like birdie section a birdie um <laughs> what are these called like a birdie washi in a way it's cute let's take i want to put down another rainbow so let's grab this giant rainbow and put this at the bottom here and then we'll grab a smaller rainbow and put that at the bottom there. And then I kind of want washi at the top here, but I want to rip this one. So we'll measure it out a little bit and we'll just rip this. Perfect. We'll add that to the top. And we'll take this one here Take a wee bit of it. We'll just layer it. There we go. And then we need a section. We do need a section for like what we're eating that day. So I think I'll just take this marker and make some dashes here. Nothing that takes too much brain power. Why do I have to hold my breath to do this part? Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. Let's do one more box, there we go. Pretty sure these boxes are not the same width, but that's not my problem. There we go. We'll add this in here so we can monitor eating habits. There we go. And lastly, we'll do Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday. I think I want it to be an all floral page. So let's do that. All right, so it is final flip through time. This is the um, weekly section. I don't know why I just almost forgot there. Look at my fluffy boy. He looks like a Gilbert. Maybe that's what we'll name him. I actually really like how this came out. Still very functional. Plenty of room if I need to write anything here. And space on the weekends with my to-do list. I will also insert a clip of like me filling this out.
Let's skip to our daily section. Uh, this little clip here is also from DEK Designs. It was a freebie, so, you know, we love a good freebie. <laughs> but here's my daily section. You know, I am incorporating the uh, food section again, as well as my journaling prompts. And here's Tuesday and Wednesday. I put the food section up here. Here is Thursday and Friday. We have little food sections here. And Saturday and Sunday, it did get a little cut off, but I essentially just made like a little border around here with all the florals. And my food section is here. And then for some reason, I decided to be fancy and put uh, the day of the week on the sides here. But that's it. You may have noticed that I put my journaling prompt in black ink. And that's because I've been loving this thing where I do colored ink for my journaling. So that's what I plan to do moving forward. But that's basically it for my Hobonichi Cousin setup for this week of April 1st to the 7th. I hope you liked what you saw. If you did, then please feel free to leave a like on the video. If you disliked what you saw, well, feel free to leave a dislike. It's whatever, bro. We keep it real on this channel. I hope that I will hear from you guys in the comment section. And I will see you in the next video, okay? Bye!